got a good show. Got a damn good show. I don't know how long we're going to go on. I don't care. But anyway, let's uh, take a look at this from the Young Turks. I know what home ownership means. And sadly, right now, it is out of reach for far too many Americans. Yeah, that's because of the inflation that you caused, you dumb bitch. Or actually, to be fair, your boss, although I hesitate to call him that. Well, I had the power out for 48 hours, but I'm doing good. American family. That was just a tiny little snippet from Kamala Harris's new political campaign ad. Yeah, she she vows to give twenty five thousand dollars to first time home buyers. Isn't inflation bad enough? Tackling the housing crisis, something that Americans across the political aisle care deeply about. And uh, what I was curious to see is whether or not she proposes solutions that actually get to the root cause of our housing crisis. And I'm happy to report that she did. Let's take a look. For most of my childhood, we were renters. My mother saved for well over a decade to buy a home. I okay. I was a teenager when that day finally came, and I can remember so well how excited she was. I know what home ownership means. And sad right now it is out of reach for far too many American families. During the foreclosure crisis, I took on the big banks who exploited people in the housing market. Oh my god, no they fucking didn't! And today, corporate landlords buy hundreds of houses and apartments, then turn them around and rent them out at extremely high prices. Because of bullshit policies like this! You're once again going to put people into homes they can't actually afford. And it'll be 2008 all over again. Billy Clinton did this in the 90s. It led to the 2008 recession, or it led to the 2008 home crash. And yeah, BlackRock picked up the bones. Hell of anything, BlackRock should be jerking off over this. ISIS, I will fight for a law that cracks down on these practices. We will end America's housing shortage by building 3 million new homes and rentals. With what money? Where? How? Also, let me let me get let me just back her up a cun here. Housing shortage by building three million new homes and rentals. And rentals. D didn't you just say renting was a trap? Renting was shit. Renting was dog crap. Oh my god. Yeah, she can't do it anyway, but whatever. Uh, oh, my God. You stupid fucking cunt. Why? Why are you going to get the manpower to build homes? There's a backlog right now. There's not enough construction workers. You gonna get prisoners to build them like you did in California? That ain't gonna fly nationally, bitch. We should be doing everything we can to make it more affordable to buy a home, not less. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. That 
that isn't a plan. Where are you going to get the money? How are you going to get this shit built? There's not enough people in construction right now. I have a million things to say about this, but before I do, Cenk, initial thoughts. Uh, housing is a huge issue. I'm thrilled that the Democrats figured that out and they're campaigning on it. That is the correct strategy. Uh, proof's in the pudding. Well, geez, she's only going to ha have to go up against Donald Trump. You know, a master builder. Let's see if they actually do anything. Number one thing they should do is uh, ban private equity from buying homes. But private equity is a giant donor to both parties. But it's Except in during the Great Depression, there were still more workers than old people. Right now, we have the exact reverse. There are more re old people than workers. Especially Republicans. 11,000 people retire every day these days. Hey, don't scroll away. Did, did, did. Come back, come back. Because before the video continues, we just want to urge you to lend your support to TYT. You power our honest reporting. You do it at tyt.com slash team and we love you for it. I'm gonna just go back to her DNC speech because there was a lot in her DNC speech that I liked. Some elements of her DNC speech, particularly foreign policy related stuff that I hated. But what we had to get through before the interesting part kicked in was her biographical stuff, which I get it, it, it humanizes her, but she's got to stop leaning in the, into that direction too much, right? So like, she loves talking about her mom, she loves talking about her childhood, but you have to remember the first few seconds determines whether or not the viewer is gonna be hooked onto your message. And so if you start off with your biographical stuff, I feel like some people are gonna tune out. Just a little critique about how the ad was put together. Putting that aside, her solutions make sense and finally there's a politician on the national scene who is addressing the root causes of our housing crisis except anna a twenty-five thousand dollar credit is just going to cause home prices to grow go up i can't did you did you fucking leftists not learn your le lesson with college College used to be affordable. Then Billy Dix, or, well, Billy O. Billy O. Clinton. I don't know. Maybe Billy Dick Sucker Clinton. I don't know what he did. Said that well, hell, every every child deserves to go to college. And we're gonna set up these federal loan programs and make sure that happens. And you gave private business access to unlimited funds. So either you're going to have to reform the student loan program or just admit the government programs generally suck and just drive the price of everything up and Anna you're going to learn this the hard way now I know that you can't stomach the thought of another Donald Trump term but again if you'd unclog your twat hairs for a minute you'd understand wasn't your life a lot better under him now, the private equity stuff is a problem. That is not the root cause, but that is a problem. And I like the fact that she mentioned that and said that she's going to tackle uh, private equity firms snatching up single family homes that would typically be bought by middle class families, right? Well, she can't. She doesn't. She can't. I mean, good luck getting it through outline how she would do that and to be honest with you when you look at the campaign money that she is and when those lenders fail to pay back those loans again 
We tried this in the 90s. Old Billy Clinton forced banks to give loans out in the late 90s to people that would generally not be approved for a home loan, right? And then they bought a home. Everything was good in the early 2000s. Suddenly everything went to shit. And yeah, we get the housing recession. Again, any time the government attempts to do anything, let the goddamn let the goddamn medium decide. Let the goddamn private market decide. Raised in just a few short weeks, I'm a little bit worried that the donors will probably stand in the way of her actually pursuing any type of proposal against Blackstone or any other private equity firm buying up single family homes. But the bigger issue, Jenk, the bigger issue is the lack of inventory in the housing market. And she addressed that. She mentioned that she wants to build 3 million new homes. With what money from what fund? And if it's a government project, it'll be decades before the homes are built. Have you known the government to do anything quickly, Anna? Again, this is why I wish the DMV was privatized. Again, last time I was there, four cunts at the counter working, four cunts just chitty-chitty-chatting. Chitty-chitty-chat-chat. Seriously, eight people working, eight people there, four of them working. Four of them just sitting there doing nothing. By the way, DMV, nothing but women working there. That's why I said four cunts working, four cunts chatting. They don't have appointments at the DMV. Home. At least not mine. Subsidizing housing, meaning giving people assistance, financial assistance, in order to pay for the down payment of a home, that doesn't address the housing crisis because we don't have enough homes for people to buy. So I like that she's addressing that. I look. Then why do we have all these, all these empty properties all around, bitch? Why do I drive by every fucking apartment building and they're flying now leasing flags? Why has actually the cost of rent gone down? Again, just saying. No, you know what it is? You know you're fucked. And you're just desperately attempting to make sure Trump doesn't get back in. But you and Jank aren't that stupid. And you know Trump will. At least I hope and pray to any and all uh, holy and unholy gods. All right, now we're going to do some quick ones from Twitter. This is Robert Reich. Uh, You know him from my channel. He's somebody that uh, can just die already. Income and wealth are now more concentrated at the top. Please say this is permanent so I don't have to listen to him. Please say I have an excuse. Oh, please, dear God, please say that I just have an excuse. Concentrated at the time. Oh, thank God I have an excuse. Because I really did not want to listen to this fucking jackass drone on and on about nonsensical shit. 
again, rob the top 1% already pay half the tax load. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm sorry. The top 0.1% pay half the tax load. 1% pays about, oh, 90% of it. The rest of us pay, well, everything else. How much is enough? How much should they be forced to pay? Because I think any tax rate over 50% is fucking ridiculous. Hell, I think half is ridiculous. If it was up to me, Mr. Fucking Bitter Ass Piece of Garbage, the tax rate would be one simple rate 10%. No deductions, no anything, no nothing. What did you make? Give the government 10%. That's it. That's all. Now fuck off. Let's see if I can jump start. All right, well, screw it. Fine. Thank you for the subscription or donation. All right. Um. pleaded guilty to sexually abusing a seven-year-old girl. The Ulster County DA says 41-year-old Carlos Fernando Pinola Pop had sexual contact with the girl last September. He confessed when he was arrested a month later. He faces up to seven years in prison and will register as a sex offender. He may be deported afterwards since he's undocumented. Why is he not dead? Also, reminder, Kamala is our border czar. Now, I hate to bring up the next post. Ah, oh, fuck it. Why not? I hate to do it because I don't want to restart the war. But I haven't talked about him for a while, so we got fucking Jake with his Palestinian flag. Oh, fucking. Whatever. Fine. I don't care. Uh, Project 2025 seeks to criminalize queer and trans people. Hope this helps. Um, well, one, Project 2025 can't. There are several amendments that say that they can't do that. But two, Jake... Donald Trump has already disavowed 600 times Project 2025. Donald Trump is Agenda 47. Get your head out of your ass, boy. Ugh. God. By the way, meanwhile, this is what that piece of shit is supporting. His biggest accomplishment to date as vice president. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable doing this anymore. She, uh, she's, she's, uh, uh was, uh, uh, vice president. she was a very good vice president. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, getting to vice president. <laughs> Yeah, so she did nothing. <laughs> I have to do more research on her, honestly. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just glad to see a woman, a woman of color in charge for one. So that's what it's all about for you, you stupid twat. Again, this is why women should not be allowed to vote. Women vote on idiotic bullshit. That's it. Uh... <laughs> I haven't followed her political career that closely. 
<laughs> and by the way, any guy without a chin shouldn't be able to vote either. I don't want. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to do that. What is Harris's biggest accomplishment? God, fucking soy boys and cunts everywhere. And. Actually, I'm kind of tired. This is where I'm going to end the stream. Good night, everybody.